U.S. Congressman blasts Netanyahu, maniac, Representative Jamal Bowman, a Democrat who represents New York's 16th Congressional District made the remarks on Saturday while appearing on MSNBC's Alex Witt reports. Bowman said he fully agrees with Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, a New York Democrat who earlier this month called for new elections in Israel and described Netanyahu as an obstacle to Pete. Chance Perdomo Gen V and Chilling Adventures of Sabrina Starr, dead at 27. Chance Perdomo died as a result of a motorcycle accident. He starred in the superhero series Gen vs. He also starred in Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. The actor was born in Los Angeles, but raised in Southampton, England. He is survived by his family. He was best known for his roles in the BBC film Killed by My Debt. It's exactly nine years until the next U.S. total solar eclipse after April 8. The next total solar eclipse in the U.S. will be on March 30, 2030. The next total eclipse in North America will be in 2044. The greatest American eclipse will be August 12, 2045. Total solar eclipses are not an American phenomenon. They occur every 18 months. The great American eclipse is scheduled for August 12 and 13, 2026. Shani Locke, Hamas victim's father defends award-winning photo of her body as symbol of an era. Shani Luke was killed during Hamas's October 7 attacks on Israel. The Associated Press freelancer, Ali Mahmoud, won the Reynolds Journalism Institute's Teen Picture Story of the Year for the image. The image showed Locke's lifeless body splayed in the back of a pickup truck and surrounded by a Hamas militant. The Powerball jackpot rises to $935 million after no winners. No one won the Powerball drawing on Wednesday night, and the last winner of the jackpot was on New Year's Day. The odds of winning a national lottery are incredibly slim. The chances of winning are 1 in 292.2 million. The jackpot is the biggest advertised Powerball jackpot so far this year. Wash, mom charged with murder after four-year-old son's body found along highway. Jenna Garcia, 27, was booked into Snohomish County Jail Friday night. She was arrested for making false statements to investigators. The boy, four-year-old Ariel Garcia, was reported missing under suspicious circumstances on Wednesday. The body of a child was later positively identified as Ariel. The cause and manner of death will be determined by the medical examiner. Invincible just recast Ezra Miller's role for season two. Invincible Season 2 has recast Ezra Miller's role in the animated series. Eric Boza is now the new voice actor behind the villain. Miller was recently tied to a string of controversies ahead of their most prominent role in The Flash. All current episodes from the series' first two seasons are streaming with Prime Video. Godzilla X Kong, The New Empire features a major kaiju cameo. Godzilla X Kong, The New Empire sees Godzilla and Kong teaming up to take on new foes. The two titans need help from a returning Mothra who was brought back to the franchise thanks to a surprising connection to Gia. The kaiju helps defend the Ibi people and help take down Scar King and Shimo. Second aid ship heads for Gaza with tons of food for starving Palestinians. U.S. charity World Central Kitchen said the vessels and a barge were carrying enough ready-to-eat items, including rice, pasta, flour, legumes, canned, vegetables and proteins. Also on board were dates, which are traditionally eaten to break the daily fast during the holy month of Ramadan. It is the second shipment this month after Israel eased a 17-year naval blockade on the Gaza Strip to allow aid sourced by WCK to enter the territory from Cyprus. 73 ATU Tut customers' personal data posted on the dark web, company says. The compromised data appears to be from 2019 or earlier and included the information of roughly 7.6 million current customers and 65.4 million former. One. The leak prompted a robust investigation supported by internal and external cybersecurity experts. The company said it is reaching out to those affected by the breach to let them know what information was leaked. ATET notifies users of data breach and resets millions of passcodes. ATT says data breach includes social security numbers for 7.6 million current users. Data may also include email and mailing addresses, phone numbers and birth dates. ATT is scheduled to report fourth quarter earnings before the opening bell on January 24. It is not the first crisis this year for the Dallas-based company. Biden outraises Trump in campaign funds as election messaging battle heats up. Biden's re-election campaign is raising gobs of cash and has an election year strategy. The campaign is also making significant early investments both on the ground and on the airwaves. The goal is to create a massive organizational advantage that leaves Republican Donald Trump scrambling. But while the money pouring in has given Biden and the Democrats a major cash advantage, it's also becoming clear Biden will need it. A massive ground game disadvantage didn't prevent Trump from winning the presidency in 2016. It's one of the stubborn challenges of Trump, said Robbie Mook, campaign manager for Hillary Clinton's 2016 presidential bid.